Minutes are developing right now. A mother charged with murder accused of causing the death of her three-year-old child. This is really a heartbreaking story with disturbing details tonight. Deputies say Uriah Ridge took her three and seven-year-olds outside in the pouring rain with very little clothing on as temperatures dip below freezing. We're talking about nearly 11 hours. 11 Live's Cody Alcorn following this story for us tonight. He's joining us live from Douglasville. And Cody, this story is really unbelievable and incredibly sad for these children. Yeah, Jennifer Ron, just awful. Just about everybody asking how in the world could a mother do this to her own children. Now, what we know from detectives here at the Douglas County Sheriff's Office is that she was on some type of drugs when she led her children into those woods about 10 miles from here from the Sheriff's Office at Fox Hall Resort. Now, what we can tell you is the detectives say late last Monday night, it's right when the rain stopped and the temperature started dropping she was high on drugs and walked her children three and seven into those woods from Fox Hall Resort where the family was actually staying. Now we are talking again, temperatures dipping through the night, touching the freezing mark. Detectives say these kids were barely dressed. They stayed out in these elements. They were already soaking wet from the rain, those temperatures dipping. They were out there until Tuesday morning around 11.50 when the hotel staff helped find them. That's when the sheriff's office showed up and started their investigation. And unfortunately, the three-year-old died from their exposure to those elements out in the weather. The seven-year-old hospitalized and still recovering. And literally just a short time ago tonight, I caught up with a woman who tells me she actually picked up Ridge and her two children in an Uber just hours before she led them into the woods. She says that she drove them to to Atlanta and that Ridge told her it was for work but she says it, she found it strange because again her children were still with her in the Uber she was fine they were in pajama pants I asked them you know did they like staying at Fox Hall and she was like yeah we're renovating our house so we're staying there you know temporarily till our house is ready the kids were fine um, nothing really stood out like you know like I should have been concerned or stuff but now like I'm wishing I would have done something I agree. A lot of this does not make sense. And to make it even more bizarre, detectives tell us tonight that during this whole ordeal, during the whole 11 hours out in the woods, freezing temperatures, she had a cell phone that was working at the time. And they say she was continuing to do drugs with her children out there. As you can imagine, there are still a lot of unanswered questions. Why did this happen and how did it happen? We're expecting to get some more answers later this week when Ridge is expected to face a judge on that felony murder charge here in Douglasville. A horrible situation. All right. So, first and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, <clears throat> I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. Now, it's your brother Debar Kabash coming back at you from the GMS Charlotte, North Carolina camp with a quick lesson to edify through the Rakaf Wadash. You know, it's going to be real quick. You know, and as you saw from the article, you know, you Israelite women, you know, are becoming more and more cruel. You see that to your kids, man. That's why we tell you brothers out there, right, that if you can, find you a woman of another nation, man. You see that Eve is very, very cruel. You see that towards her children, man. You know, just the other day I was out, you know, and, you know, there was Eve with her kids, right? You know, her by herself, no man around, right? And she had four kids, right? And each and every one of them was out of control, and she had no control of them at all, you know? So, you know, we tell you brothers out there, you know, you know, uh, how do I want to say this? Um, you brothers out there that, you know, want to have kids, right? Just wait into the kingdom. Just wait, man. You see that? Because Eve is through. On this side, Eve is through. 
right? She was all out in the woods, right? This girl here was all out in the woods smoking drugs with her kids out there, soaking wet and, 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 and pretty much freezing, man. You know? That's why the Lord gonna destroy a lot of you, uh, that's why the Lord's gonna destroy a lot of you people out there, man. You know, and I guess her son, you know, he wound up surviving, you know, but now this woman here, you know, she pretty much threw her life away, man. You see? So, you know, behind drugs, you know, you brothers and you few sisters that are out there, man, if you are, if you got drug issues, right, pray to the Lord, right, to remove that issue from you. Right, and try your absolute best. You see that? And believe you me, listen to what I'm telling you, man. Try your absolute best to pray to the Lord that he removes that drug away from you. And when that drug is presented to you, right, avoid it, man. You know, but Jake is so weak in the flesh. You see? So, you know, because of this woman here being weak, all right, and not having wisdom, you know, now, you know, now her daughter's gone. But ultimately, it was the Lord. You see, and you're going to see a lot more of this happen in the days to come. You know, so I only got a, I only got two scriptures, and I'm going I'm, I'm to shut it down. All right, this is the book of Lamentations, chapter 3. I'll schlock it. Lamentations, chapter 4, and I'm going to start at verse 3, and it reads, Even the sea monster, right? draw out the breast that's right even the sea monsters right feed their young they give suck to the young ones right the daughters of my people is become cruel that's right man so the daughters of israel right have become very very cruel like the ostrich in the wilderness you see that and i want to bring this out man because you people have become very cruel man this was cruel you know, but it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and grab this last one. I'm going to shut it down. You know, I just thought that was, you know, <coughs> Jake up. So, you know, Jake said, you know what, let me go ahead and do a video. And this is the book of Job, chapter 39. I'm going to start at verse 13 in NLT, and it reads, The ostrich flaps her wings gradually, but they are no match for the feathers of her, of her stork. She lays her eggs on the top of the earth, letting them be warmed in the dust. She doesn't worry that a foot may crush them or a wild animal might destroy them. You see that? So Eve today don't care. You know, Eve is like an ostrich. She doesn't care. She let her young boys, right, be, uh, 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 be in this gang gang culture, right? She let her young men or or her young gals, right, go out here and be thoughts, right, this is what Eve let her kids do, Eve won't tell her kids to clean the hell up, Eve won't tell her kids to stay in school, Eve won't tell her kids to read the scriptures, you see that, Eve will tell her kids to go out here and rob and be a dope, or a dope boy or the biggest harlot, man. So Eve does not care about her young ones at all. Anyway, Job chapter 39, verse 16 in NLT, and it reads, She is harsh towards her young. You see that? And yes, these, it, Eve is harsh towards her young ones, man. As if they were not her own. She doesn't care if they die. Ooh. For the Most High have deprived her of wisdom. He has given her no understanding. You see that? And I want to, you know, just bring that up, man, because Eve doesn't care. Eve doesn't care if they die. You know, Eve doesn't care, man. You know, so if Eve doesn't care about her kids right on this side, how much more are you brothers that are out there, man? Right? And, and, and not just her kids or you brothers. But if Eve doesn't care about her kids, right, or her young ones, right, schlock it. If Eve doesn't care about her young ones, or you, right, talk about you brothers, 
how much more herself you see so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here israel until next time i say shalom